everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I am excited to be doing a PSA reveal video today, and there's one reason why. It is the first ever Patreon submission that I have done on behalf of members of my Patreon group. Recently, I added a new benefit, which was I will send cards on behalf of Patreons over to PSA at no additional charge using my PSA membership account. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. So what that means is if the card is 50 bucks to grade, you pay the $50 charge, but you don't pay any extra to have me submit it. I also am allowing Patreons to submit cards straight from breaks. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. I cover all of the shipping to PSA and all of the insurance that goes along with that. And it is just one of many of the Patreon benefits that I offer. That's how you get into my breaks. That's how you get break discounts, monthly packs, Discord community access. There's so much more. I am really proud of the community that we have built. There's a great group of collectors. And if you are interested in joining, be sure to check out my Patreon page in the link in the description below. I'm in. But today we're doing the first ever Patreon submission that we got from PSA. There are 14 cards. We've got four different people that have submitted cards. I've got a couple PC cards that I also included in this. So without further ado, let's see what the Patreons got in the first ever Patreon submission over to PSA on the One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Now we have a few other ones that are still out there waiting to be graded, but this was the first one that came in. It took roughly five to six weeks, something like that to get them back in. So not too bad. This was at the $50 submission level. And as we go through these cards, I'll call off who got them and whose cards they are. And we'll see what we get. This first card is actually one of my PC cards. It is a Nick Gonzalez. This is a 2020 Bowman. I believe it's, yeah, Bowman draft. But this is the image variation card for Nick Gonzalez. It was his first year. However, because it's an image variation, it does not carry the first Bowman logo, which kind of hurts it a little bit, but no big deal. I love that it's an image variation. Let's see what the Nick Gonzalez got. And it gets a gem mint 10. I will take that. Love it. Now our next one, this is a big card. This one was submitted by Evan. Not sure why they sent them back to me in a different order in which we submitted it. So sorry to the Patreons for that, but they are kind of out of order right now. Um, no big deal. But this is a Xander Bogarts rookie card, orange, auto. This is a banger of a card. It's back from 2014. It is number 12 out of 25. Evan, let's see what you got on the Xander Bogarts auto Orange to 25, Orange Wave. This is from 2014 Bowman Chrome. We get a beautiful Mint 9. Just an awesome card right there. Bogart's having a fantastic season here in 2021. So Evan, congrats on the 9. Beautiful card. Glad we could get it slabbed for you. Our next card. This is for Victor. This is the Eduardo Garcia. This is the Red Shimmer. This should be numbered to 10. It is. It is numbered 8 out of 10. Eduardo Garcia, Red Shimmer, numbered to 10. This is from 2021 Bowman Chrome. And it gets a Mint 9. So a beautiful, low-numbered Red Shimmer Parallel, a Mint 9. Beautiful card there, Eduardo Garcia. Our next one, this is a Victor Acosta. Now we have three Victor Acostas. All of them were submitted by Brian. So Brian, this one is the teal to 125. 
Now this also from Bowman Chrome. I always forget if it's Bowman Chrome or Bowman Draft, but this one is numbered 124 out of 125. It is the Victor Acosta. Beautiful card right here in the teal parallel. Numbered to 125. This one gets a mint nine. Beautiful mint nine right there. A little bit. Okay, yeah, I was like, I hope that wasn't on the actual slab itself. But beautiful Victor Acosta. Now he's got two other ones. So we'll see what Brian gets on the other ones. But we've got, let's see, we've got 110 and we've got three nines. So we'll separate them out like that. We'll see how we end up going. This one is from me. IPC Ronald Acuna pulled a black from 2021. It is numbered to 70, 17 out of 70. So 2021, this is out of top series one. Black Ronald Acuna Jr. Black border is always tough. We get a mint nine. Love this card though, because it is a uh, PC card and it is one that I pulled it and I was like, I should grade this because these are really hard. I figured it might get a nine. Black borders are just really tough. I believe it's this corner down here, but love that I got this one slab. So a mint nine there. The next one, also one of my submissions. I just like it. It's a really cool card. It's actually from Tops Fire. It is the Scorching Signatures. One of the most underrated signatures. These were cool cards when they came out. Now, Tops Fire, probably not one of the most sought after brands or sets that people are looking after. It is a retail only set, but this is an on card auto from Alex Kirilov. It is numbered 101 out of 199. It's the Scorching Signatures autographed from 2021 Tops Fire. This card was beautiful when i sent it in i can find no problems with it we'll see what it gets it is a kind of a rainbow foil we do get a gem mint 10 so i'm two for two on gem mint 10s we'll see what we can get for the patreons here though because that's what's important our next one the next victor acosta this is going to be the base auto now victor acosta looks nervous with that signature when he signs his name it just looks like he was nervous when he signed it but again this is going to be from bowman chrome this is the pot uh, the prospect autograph we get a gem mint 10 for brian brian congrats on that one always nice to get a 10 in the auto so we get the victor acosta beautiful card right here it is when i looked at this one when he sent it in there was nothing wrong with this card not surprised that it got a gem mint 10. Now we have another one, and this one is for Patreon Zach, aka the Sheriff. Giant Yankees fan. Now, when he sent this one in, I think what he was looking for was a seven or above. This is a Yogi Berra auto, and this is from 2002. I'm going to have to look at the set. It is from Finest Moments. It is the Yogi Berra autograph, just a beautiful autograph there, beautiful card, all the way back from 2002. He was hoping for a seven or better, hoping we could get him an eight. Let's see what we get. How about a mint nine? Yogi Berra on card auto mint nine. Now I know the sheriff, he is going to be absolutely ecstatic with that grade. When I looked at it, I thought an eight, stoked we got a nine. The corners were great. There was some surface stuff on it. Nothing major, maybe some dimples and whatnot. But look at that card. Beautiful Yogi Berra, mint nine. All right, now we're going back to Brian. This is going to be another Victor Acosta. He submitted three of them. This one is the Victor Acosta Speckle Refractor, number 210 out of 299. Again, 2021 Bowman Chrome. So this is the one out of all those ones that you would want to gem up. Again, when I looked at it, beautiful card. Brian sent it in. Let's see what we get. How about a gem mint 10? So both the autos gem up. The teal to 125 got the mint nine. 
but we get the gem to 299 of the Victor Acosta. Congrats on that one, Brian. Beautiful card right here. Doing a little prospect chasing. And I love that both the autos get the 10. All right, so the next one. This was one of mine. This is a Bobby Witt. This is a big one for me. The Bobby Witt auto. This is a Mojo Refractor Mega Box autograph from 2020 Bowman Chrome. It does not have the first logo, but it is a Bobby Witt. When I sent this in, I looked at the centering and thought maybe a nine because it looks a little light on the right. And what we get... Oh, baby, how about a gem mint 10 again? So our 10s catching up to the 9s. That's a big boy right there. That is a nice card gemmed up at a 10. The Bobby Witt Jr. I will take that all day. So we get another 10. All right, now my next one. This is going to be a Jose Salas shortstop again from 2021 Bowman. This is a prospect purple auto. This is one of mine. So this is one of this one is for my collection. It is numbered five out of 250. The purple parallel auto, Jose Salas, comes in at a mint nine. So we get another nine there. Not too bad. I'll take the nine. And when I sent it in, I did not see any problems with it. But again, Maybe a little bit on the surface right through here. Probably can't catch that on camera. But as I look at it underneath the slab, all of a sudden you can see maybe a little bit of the surface issue right through the middle of the card right there. Again, look at your cards under a loop. I, of course, I did on that. But hey, what are you going to do? Okay, now we've got another Eduardo Garcia. This one is 9 out of 25. This one is for Victor. So another Eduardo Garcia first, and it is the orange, not the orange shimmer, but the true orange. It is 9 out of 25. Victor, let's see what we get you. Orange, mint 9. So we get the mint 9 orange, I think on both of ours. So we get the two mint 9s on the red shimmer and the orange. Not sure why this would have got maybe a little bit top heavy, but overall still a mint card, mint nine. So Victor, congrats on that one. All right, our next one. This one is again, one of my PC cards, Ronald Acuna Jr. This is a short print. I'm trying to remember, is this, yeah, this was Topps Update 2020. This is the short print, one of the coolest Ronald Acuna Jr. cards that I have ever pulled. Just a beautiful one right here. So let's see what we get. When I looked at it, I was hoping for a nine. Thought it might gem up, but let's see what we get here. We get the Gem Mint 10. Beautiful SP. One of the coolest Ronald Acuna Jr. cards you will ever see. The only one that's cooler is the one with the glove on his head, which I believe is from the same year. I think it was from Top Series 2. So Gem Mint on that one. Beautiful one. And then our final card for the Sheriff, Alec Manoa. Now, he PCs Alec Manoa. Even though he's a Yankees fan, he has one of the biggest Alec Manoa first Bowman collections. of it. Well, the biggest one of anyone that I know of. This one is the Refractor Auto. It is numbered 249 out of 499. Manoa with the season he's having. This card... Has gone up in value a lot. So let's see what we can get for the Sheriff. 2019 Bowman Draft Alec Manoa Refractor Auto. The Gem Mint 10. So it gems up the Sheriff between the two cards he had. The, the Yogi Berra Auto and Alec Manoa was hoping for a combined score of 17. His score comes in at a 19. Just beautiful right there. Congrats, Zach. Glad you got the 10 on the Alec Manoa. And that, guys, is the PSA submission. So we go half and half, nines and tens, on that submission. We get no eights, which is always a plus. 
And like I said before, if you are interested in submitting cards on my behalf, you got to be a Patreon. You can join for as little as $2 a month, and I will submit cards at no additional cost. I cover the shipping to get it all out to Newport Beach, California, where PSA is. And I basically cover all of the paperwork, do it all for you. All I ask is that you let me do a PSA card reveal on the cards, which we just did our first one here. I think we did quite well. So with that, guys, congratulations to all of the Patreons on your nines and tens and on your new slabs. And if you are interested, feel free to check out the Patreon link in the description below. Other than that, if you haven't done so already, throw over to first, hit that like button. Let me know what you think about our PSA submission in the comments below. I love responding to all of the comments that are worth responding to. and. As I always say, as you're out there in the wild, I hope you have good luck finding the packs that you want to rip. When you rip those packs, I hope you pull some fire. And as always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.